Welcome to salvation. <laughs> when you learn how to mute yourself. <laughs> what would really be impressive if I could like beep myself. Welcome to salvation. Beep. <laughs> All right, what are we doing today? Lesson 39. My holiness is my salvation. My unloving thoughts about this and that and so-and-so and what's his name and what's her butt are keeping me in hell. My stress, my anxiety, my fear, my low self-esteem is keeping me in hell. My guilt is keeping me in hell. My holiness is my salvation. So if guilt is hell, what is its opposite? Answer, love. <laughs> All right, let's get to it because I got things to do. I really actually do have things to do. So let's look at the notes. Notes, 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 notes. All right. My holiness is my salvation. So Tina Jesus today, Jesus said right off the bat, like this kind of comes off as a pretty arrogant comment doesn't it the ego thinks it's arrogant and that made me lol because yesterday I was all about being cocky <laughs> not so much today but anyways Jesus did remind me and you and everyone today that we have free will so we can choose unloving thoughts until we are sick of ourselves I mean you are allowed to think whatever you want so if you want to keep on lining up with the ego's unloving thoughts you're allowed. But at some point, we do get to the point where like, we are on our knees, we are begging for mercy, we are so sick and tired of ourselves. We're tired of torturing ourselves, we're tired of choosing, choosing hell, basically. So he's saying that once you get to that place of surrender, like I give up, Holy Spirit, please help me like, I need help, I need to be retrained, I need to be taught surrender and you are finally teachable finally you, it's like so you have to like get to that point of being finally teachable you have to surrender and sometimes it happens in this lifetime and sometimes it doesn't so it's like if you would like to get out of ego's world in this lifetime you've got to keep walking towards the love and light surrender ask for help jesus said it's okay to relax to be you, to fall back into the arms of love. It's okay to give up chasing idols. It's okay to, you know, quit putting quit putting so much emphasis on money and this body and the things that the ego wants you to obtain. Those are all idols that you chase. It's okay to give that up. It's okay to be holy. It is okay to walk towards love and light if you want to get out of the ego's world in this lifetime. So it's a good chat with Tina Jesus. Pathways of Light. Pathways of Light was fantastic. And I love the goddess today. I am only love. So get out of guilt means get out of hell. Get out of anger, get out of fear, get out of worry, get out of self-hate, get out of feeling weak, get out of being unloving. And these are all the things that we will be giving up when we get out of hell, when we get out of guilt, when we get out of the ego's command, letting the ego guide us. It's not, it's not been good. So we got to remember that, yeah, my holiness is my salvation. The strength of God is within me. And yes, I am only love. And I will start to see all that other stuff as illusions, as part of the dream, as part of the ego's lies. That's not who I am. I am not weak. I am not unloving. I am not full of fear and anger and worry and self-hate. I am not in hell. I, I get out of it now. I get out of it now. My holiness is my salvation. The strength of God is within me. I am only love. Yes, yeah, so I really love thinking that I am only love. Like when you realize everything else is just 
it just fizzles out in the illusion like once you let it go like we really only like hold on when we hold on to things we're keeping them real you know we're like solidifying them in our experience so as soon as i say like well actually this fear is not real this anger is not real this worry is not real i let it go i surrender i'm like take it i don't want it it's not even real it just sort of like dissolves so the more and more we can surrender hand things over to the holy spirit the more we can be holy understand that our holiness is our salvation all that other bs is just going to dissolve and go bye byes so anyways pathways of light so sweet such a sweet reminder to get out of guilt i mean if you can get out of guilt you can get out of hell pathwaysoflight.org Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles, Workbook, Lesson 39, Insights. My holiness is my salvation. In the text, we learn that the guilt that comes with wanting to have a separate identity is the foundation for the projected world of separation we see. With the belief that we really did separate from our source came guilt and fear of God's reprisal. We tried to hide from the guilt we secretly believed was ours by projecting this guilt onto a made-up world that we believed was separate from us. We are now learning to recognize that the physical world we see is just the effect of projected guilt. The guilt now looks like it has been hurled outside of us, <clears throat> but the truth is it has not left the split mind that is its source. The more we try to see guilt out there, the more we are reinforcing it in our minds. The truth is that this guilt that comes with our continued belief in separation is the real source of all our problems. It is the source of our belief in limitation, all our worry, stress, illness, and lack of any kind. Guilt is hell. In this lesson, Jesus tells us your holiness means the end of guilt and therefore the end of hell. As I look at the script of my life, I can see that the many forms of limitation and guilt that I have believed in. I see that this life script came from unloving thoughts I am seeing that I need to look closely at every unloving thought, every apprehension, every form of suffering I am making real through my belief and hand it over to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will reverse this belief and show me that the truth of my holiness is my salvation. This practice today helps me to heal all the false ideas that have guilt as their foundation. I am open to healing my mind today by looking at all the barriers to my holiness, all the thoughts that are unlike universal love. Love is one. Love is universal. I let myself today be aware of the unloving thoughts that I am holding on to. Guilt is hell. How long do I want to stay in hell? It is my choice. Today, I am willing to recognize the thoughts that keep me in hell, keep me in limitation. I am ready to be brought back to wholeness, holiness. I am ready to let go of believing in separation, of believing that I am a separate person, unique and different from universal love. I am ready to return to happiness. My holiness is God's holiness because he created me as an extension of himself. If I share him, in looking at these, I realize that they all stem from a belief in weakness, which is another way of saying unworthiness. When I think of myself as weak, I think of myself as unable to do what God would have me do, which in essence is saying unable to love. 
If I believe I am unable to love, guilt is inevitable. Yet the strength of God is in me. So that must be a mistaken idea. God is love. The strength of God in me enables me to love. It cannot be that I am unable to love. God is only love. So in truth, I must only be love. Thus, there can be no justification for guilt. Wow. That shoots holes in every justification there seems to be for guilt. It's over. It never was. Truly, my holiness is my salvation. Thank you, God. Pathwaysoflight.org All right, good job. Lesson 39. My holy cookies are my salvation. Oh yeah, we deserve a cookie. Absolutely. Um, we deserve to escape hell together. I mean, but the thing is, it's like you can stay, be tortured as long as you want. As long as you want, I can, con as long as you want, you can continue to choose your unloving thoughts. As long as I want to keep on going down this rocky road, um, you know, I just, hey, it's up to me, but like, have you had enough yet? Some people go through their whole life and like, just stay in hell. They never wake up. They never choose differently. They just hold on to it, hold on to it. But we all have the option to hit the escape button, to hit the all right, game over, or, you know, like enough is enough. <laughs> I want the enough is enough button. That's the one I'm reaching for. Like, all right, I got it. Lesson learned. Enough is enough.